Welcome to Wealth Up, a channel about personal finance and building wealth. March 2022 is now behind us, and what a month it has been. Inflation keeps going up, gas is so expensive, unemployment remains low, the Fed has increased rates, the yield curve has just inverted, the unrest in Ukraine continues, and the market has gone up this month. So much has happened that could impact the market. But let's switch over to net worth. I share my net worth every month. This helps keep me accountable and share my progress. It is important to have a financial plan and stick to it, even with the uncertainty that you see in the market. Net worth is a way to measure your financial health. It can be used to see how you are making progress over time. The number itself is not very telling. It is more useful to have the number in context and to track it over time. You want your net worth to be growing over time or becoming less negative if that is your situation. It is also important to not compare your number to my numbers or anyone else's numbers. You should be comparing it to your previous numbers and to your targets. Everyone is at a different stage in life has different priorities, and started at a different place, making it unfair to compare the value itself. Net worth is the difference between the value of your assets and your liabilities or debts. Assets are anything you own of value, a house, your cars, jewelry, any investments that you have, as well as cash. Liabilities or debts are the money that you owe. This includes your mortgage, any car loans, student loans, any credit card debt. If you are making a monthly payment anywhere, this should be included here. What I recommend is to make a simple spreadsheet in Excel or Google Sheets and keep track of them all. Once you have the template, it's very easy to go in and update it regularly. For me, I put together my house and rent a property into one number, which I note here in real estate. My car, investments, and cash. Now let's add the value of my assets. For March of 2022, the value of my real estate totaled $502,500. The value of my car was $16,000. The value of my investments totaled $279,000 and I held $61,500 in cash. Adding all of these up brings the total value of my assets to $854,900. Let's take a moment to review how this compares to last month. My real estate appreciated this trend seems to be continuing throughout the US. My car value did not change from last month. My investments went up because the stock market started to go back up. And I also continue to invest like I normally do. My cash savings went up because I added more money into my sinking funds. Looking at the change between February and March, there is an increase of $57,900. This highlights how it is important to stick to your financial plan in spite of all of the things going on in the world. Even though the value of my assets have increased, this is only recovering from the bad months of January and February. Now let's move on to my debts. Here I have my mortgages for my house and rental property as well as student loans. For March, the mortgages totaled $337,800 and my student loans were $12,000, bringing the total debt to $349,800. Let's compare to February. As you can see, I paid off over $1,000 in my mortgages and made no student loan payments. My student loans, like for many people, is in forbearance until May. The month to month change is $1,000. This is what I paid off between February and March. 
But with the decrease in my debts and the increase in the value of my assets help to increase my net worth. Let's calculate it now. For this, we simply need to subtract the two factors. My assets of over $854,000, subtracting my liabilities of $349,800, brings my total net worth for March of 2022 to $505,100. This is the first time that I break the half a million mark. It's been a lot of work and discipline, but I am extremely happy to hit this milestone, bringing the total increase month to month to $59,100. Are you tracking your net worth? How did it go this month? No matter where you are in your journey, stay on track, follow your financial plan, and try to stay motivated. As always, thank you for watching until the end. Remember to hit the like button if you have enjoyed this content, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you want to see regular content, you could add me on Instagram at wealth underscore up. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.